Hi, Kevin Coop here, and this is FaceTime with the Content Guy. So there was a story in the Wall Street Journal a couple of days ago uh, that I found a little bit surprising. It said that in the budget proposals sent up to Congress by the Trump administration, there was part of it that said that what they were suggesting was that the United States Postal Service should, as a way of addressing all the multi-million dollar losses it continues to face every year, it ought to cut back delivery in, in, in a number of markets from six days to five days, wherever the business case could be made, it said, or something like that. Now, this surprised me. Uh, because this is coming from an administration run by a guy who is uh, said to be the first businessman president we've ever had. And yet basically what they're saying is the United States Postal Service ought to become less competitive and less relevant, not more so. Uh, and basically I think what this does is fall into a trap that a lot of retailers and a lot of businesses fall into. The mistaken belief that they can cut their way to prosperity. I think the one thing we've learned in today's business climate is that you can't do that. It's just not possible. Now, I would suggest in a lot of ways, the post office may be more relevant today than it ever has been. I mean, it seems to me I see a lot more trucks out there, at least anecdotally. But since they made a deal to deliver for Amazon on Sundays, doing seven-day delivery, it seems to me that they are more relevant. Plus, they've made some sort of deal which has allows UPS to deliver products from Amazon to the post office, and then the post office delivers them. It seems to me in a lot of ways they're doing the things that they need to do to become more relevant, albeit they still have a lot of financial problems. Now, listen, clearly, first-class mail is way down. People, t the people are emailing and texting. They're not using first-class mail. But package delivery is up. It's 28% of its revenue in the past year, up from 20% just a couple of years ago. I think they're moving in the right direction, and it's not hard to imagine that those numbers will be a lot higher as e-commerce becomes more important to this country, not less so. Now, I'd never list myself as a fan of the U.S. Postal Service. I've been critical of them for years uh, here on Morning News Beat, but I do think they're trying. One of the problems they have, quite frankly, is a workforce that doesn't realize it's supposed to be in the customer service business. They seem entitled sometimes, as opposed to realizing that they're lucky to have jobs considering there's so much competition out there from email and package delivery services. You know, the post office could be obsolete. They're twerking not to be. You do that by providing better customer service, not less so. I'm not sure that message has gotten down to the workforce. Now, listen. That may require a cultural DNA transplant, which is a very hard thing to do. It takes a long time. I think one of the things they ought to consider doing is bringing in some visionary uh, business executive who could just totally remake the business culture at the post office. Years ago, that's what the Irish Postal Service did. They brought in Fergal Quinn, who was running Super Quinn. He's a supermarket icon in Ireland. And they brought him in to fix the postal service, and he did. Now, the answers that a postal service would need today would be very different than the kinds of answers that Fergal Quinn was able to provide years ago. But the concept is right. Bring in somebody who understands the notion of efficiency as well as being effective. Bring in somebody who understands innovation and brings in somebody who understands why the post office needs some sort of DNA transplant and is really good at doing it. Now, Postal Service is doing things that do work. They're shutting down offices. Uh, they're trying to be more relevant. Um, I think one of the things they do need to do is they have to work with Congress to find a way to recalculate the way they deal with things like pensions, because that puts an enormous financial burden on them, which makes them look, I think, a lot more, um, uh, a lot more costly and uh, than they really are. Uh, that would be really, really important. Now. One good thing is Congress is unlikely to accept this Trump administration uh, suggestion because, let's face it, there's a lot of congressmen with voters who uh, like having mail delivery on Saturday, but that shouldn't be the only reason they decide uh, not to accept this notion. I think there has to be a commitment to the idea that, that government services need to be more competitive and more relevant, not less so. If we go in the other direction, well, we're just going backwards and that doesn't make a lot of sense. There's a place here where the Postal Service can use its infrastructure and its investments over a long period of time to really deliver high quality, better service to the U.S. public, not less service. And I think that's really important. You know, more innovation, more effectiveness, maybe even more investment in the short term, not less so. That's the only way they're going to survive. Anyway, that's what's on my mind this morning. And as always, I want to hear what's on your mind.